If you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. So now we're going to spend some time working with the main section of the Intangi Iris tool. And so I'm going to close up these sites on this topology page. Um, now I don't need to save it. But this is what we're, you're going to see when you first log into the tool. This is the spl main splash and start page. It's going to give you any information about the tool and the latest updates that have happened to it. And then over here on the left, we have a couple of options. We have a new system. What the new system is going to give us is the ability to create a system that has multiple sites if we need them and gives us all of the options that we have available to us. We can create a new system that's localized to a different area or whatever we need to do. The new Express system is a great way of just getting into it really quickly. If you already know what you want to create, it's pretty simple or it's very straightforward and you just need to get a bill of materials ready very quickly, that's the way to go. And then our third option is to open a system that we've already been working on. So what we're going to do is we're going to dive into doing a new system and we're going to go through that entire process. If I click on new system, it's going to ask me some questions. First off is going to be the label for this system. Now this could be the client that you're working with. This could be the project name that you're working on. Right now I'm just going to be calling this the Ruckus Partner Webinar System. You'll also notice that I have some options down here for country, uh, currencies, etc. The country is important because there are different access points that are localized to different regions. There's different power cords for different units depending on where you're at. That's all going to be tied to this country right here. So I'm going to accept the defaults for right now, and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now it's going to take me directly to adding a new site. So these sites could be an actual campus that you're working on, different sites across the globe. This could be different IDFs if you want to work that way. However you want to think about it, it gives you the ability to subdivide your project into smaller sections. So I'm going to name this one Site 1, and I'm going to click OK. Now notice there are, is some additional information here. You can fill this out if you'd like to. Um, it's not necessary, but if you have, want to have that information for later use, that's a great way of doing it right there. I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and it's going to create this site for me here on the topology page. Notice that that's the page that I have highlighted here. If I want to create another site, for this example, let's do two sites. I can just right click and say new site. I'm going to call the second site site two. And it's going to create that on that top, this topology page for me. Now, if I want to dive into these specific sites, I can just double click on them. And it's going to open that site in a new tab. And before we move on, some of you are probably wondering why my interface looks a little bit different. When you first come in here, the default is to show a world map. You can change that very easily at any time by right-clicking in the topology window and going to system settings. Uh, down here uh, on the mapping, I have mine set to none. Um, the automatic is, this is probably what you see by default. Um, if you have this, if you right-click and go to system settings, you can set the mapping to none much like I have, if you don't want to see that. 